Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the vlog. I, d I didn't get a chance to have a build video put together for this week. That's kind of a lie. I did, but I've been playing Stardew Valley again recently with my brother online and um... Ooh, lots of blueberries. Hey! Nice. I'm getting all the blueberries. Computer ah, closed. I guess I'll go into Joja Mart. I'm making four bars. Joja Mart is the big company that goes into a small town and runs out all the Don't local go business. To Joja Mart. But I need the seeds. How fast do you think people would pass out if we played this for <laughs> extra life this year? <laughs> Probably pretty quick. Yeah, that's kind of where my weeknights have been going the last week or so, which has been nice. I needed a break. Basically, work's just been insane for the last three, four months with 60 to 70 hour weeks. This last week was a little bit more on the slower end, you know, only 10 hour days, which is, which is nice. So I was enjoying some of the time off there, or chill time, a little bit more than that. For, like, for the job job, I'm uh estimator for a commercial landscape contractor, and... Pretty much every year from February to June, June, July, somewhere in there, it uh, it's just insane every year. It's been the case for the last 10 years I've been doing this. Last year wasn't as busy, which was nice, but I think they, I think companies were just making up for lost time because, yeah, this year is just extra stupid. Like, I think everyone just kind of hit effort mode with COVID shutting everything down last year. And this year, people are just, no, nope, screw it. We have to pay for their, we have got the money invested in these projects already, so they just have to get through. So, yeah, that's just how it is this year, I guess. And then everything's more expensive, so everyone's getting cranky about the pricing of projects and all that fun stuff, so... Otherwise, I really haven't been in the shop a whole lot recently. I was still working on stuff, just wasn't in the shop. Back in the fall last year, my wife and I picked up a fixer-upper camper. It is a, like, a 96, 1996 camper, uh, 25 to 27 feet long. I'm not sure if you measure from the bumper to the hitch or just the living space. It had been parked at the in-laws lake lot for 10 years, at least, something like that. We swiped the awning off of it a couple years ago to put on the camper, and I think that's what started the water damage in this. Uh, we figured at this point it's still minor enough to be able to fix it. Uh, I'll probably have to cut out a chunk of the roof and replace that, but I'm pretty sure that we're able to fix that still, so... Should be good there. I've been wanting to renovate a camper for a few years now, so this just worked out quite well, actually. Uh, jumping now to this May, basically since the ground thawed and I was able to actually get some work done in the backyard now, to be able to work on the camper more efficiently, because we did have it parked at my mom's rental property uh, about 20 minutes away from us, which would work in theory. But 20 minutes there, however long you need to work on stuff. Oh, you forgot a tool, 40-minute round trip to go back to it. It'll just be easier to work on it here. So that's what we're doing. We, we have it set up now so that we are... Uh, the camper sparked in the yard. But to do that, I needed to delete the fence alongside the driveway and replace it with a couple swing gates. We're still waiting on the swing gates, but... Um, I just have some temporary fence up right now. Took it down, camper came in, temporary fence got up so the puppers can still go hang out in the yard and do all that stuff. So we're good there. But yeah, to do that was a bunch of work. I needed to move the firewood shed. I needed to demo the old garbage storage area bin thing. We're on a bin system now, so I didn't need that there. It's been there probably since the house was built. So that's now gone because I didn't need it. Set up the temporary fence. 
dismantle 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 as much of the fence as I could while keeping the majority of it intact still so that took a little, like a little while I needed to rip out all of the old posts that was a day in itself because it's not like I have a tractor or anything just to pick them up I guess I could have borrowed a bobcat from work but whatever I ended up just picking up like a farm jack or a jack all people call it too and that seemed to work pretty good to rip them out of the ground a little bit of finagling with some ratchet straps and I ended up sacrificing three of them to the ratchet strap lord or whatever but meh they were older ones anyway so they were probably just brittle either way I got some new ones now set the two new gate posts in on either end of the driveway or e yeah either end of the driveway there was a rose bush I needed to completely cut out which was almost a day in itself as well just to dig down to get the roots because it was 50 years old there was a massive root ball in there ended up snapping my spade so I needed to replace my spade sacrifice the chainsaw blade because at that point I was just done and just cut the cut it out of the ground uh, yeah it's gone now I buried it and or buried the rest of it and just covered it up so hopefully it rots and hopefully I actually did enough damage to it that it won't be coming up and because I've mowed that thing down to the ground like three times since we lived here and it just keeps coming back so Hopefully I did enough damage to it this time around that it's actually dead. Yeah, all that had to get done. Now the camper's in the backyard, which, yeah, it's kind of nice now. Well, there's a camper in the yard, but it's nice to have it here, because now if I have a spare hour, I can go work on it, which is quite helpful, actually. Like I, like I was saying earlier, if I only have an hour to work on it, I'm not going to spend 40 minutes driving back and forth to it and then going and uh, working for 20 minutes. That's just a waste of time. Not to brag or anything, but I was able to back the trailer into the yard on the first try. Worked out quite well. And if that's where I was leaving it, that would have been fine. But since it will be parked back here for at least this year uh, while I'm working on it, got something in my eye. It's also like, 20 to 1 in the morning so probably just getting sleepy but since it's going to be back there for pretty much this whole year we still want to be able to use as much of the yard as possible so what I had ended up doing knowing that this was going to be the case I got a front mount uh, hitch receiver installed in the front of my truck shocking how you know a front hitch receiver would be installed in the front but either way the truck has a front hitch receiver installed and uh, I was able to hook the trailer up to the front of the truck and just maneuver it right where I needed to and I didn't have to worry about swinging around the whole way to get like an inch of difference back there so it actually worked out quite well I'm really happy with that it was a little bit of like it was $300 for them to install it they installed it it was good to go it's not like I needed to do any wiring for it because you're not going to be driving down the highway with it installed in the front or hauling the trailer out of the front of your truck. So I figured it didn't need it. And now I also have some, um, what are they called? Uh, tie down points in the front of the truck. So if I can, uh, if I get stuck, we can tie it down to the front of the truck or if I need to pull someone out and the only way I can get into there easy, easily is to uh, drive into it, I can back or pull them from the front of the truck now, which is nice. Because I didn't have that option before. But that's neither here nor there. Trailer was able to sneak into the yard pretty easily, actually. Worked out well. Uh, another solution that I did, uh, I also went with, is I found a motorized jack. It looks like you're taking it for a walk. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing. Uh, just something I found on Amazon. I was looking at building my own, but time crunch. I didn't have the time or the tools to weld a frame and all that. I would have needed to go bug my brother. It's a little bit undersized for this camper. 
I think the jack itself is rated for 5,000 pounds. And the trailer is 6,000. So it's a little bit underpowered. But even so, um, I it seemed to work okay after a little while. Pulling, it seemed to come no problem because it's also downhill and I had 2x4s underneath it. You know, I didn't have any gold bars handy as a sacrificial surface. But when I was trying to push the camper up into the yard, like, when I'm saying uphill, downhill, it's like maybe two degrees difference across the whole yard. But, yeah, pushing the camper was a lot harder than pulling it. And uh, the first time I tried it, it just went, and just sunk right into the ground. So, hence the two by fours. But yeah, coming back, I pushed it back into the yard with the truck and then pulled it closer to the driveway once I got the truck out of the way. So, yeah, between the three, like backing it in, pushing it in with the front of the truck, and then the jack, it worked out quite well. That'll be the subject of a few more videos coming up. Well, not coming up. I haven't recorded them yet because I haven't done any work on it other than, like, cleaning it and pressure washing it. And we did a little bit of demo, but really not a ton. But yeah, that'll be a few videos coming up in the future here. Otherwise, last weekend I was able to get into the shop for a little bit. Uh, I got a honeydew project uh, done and out of the way. I still got a couple more that I need to do like this weekend. Or this last weekend, I guess, based on when you'll be watching this. Danielle wanted a planter to go on the front steps of the house to make this weird chimney jut out thing on the front of the house look a little bit better. Which, you know, I guess is a good thing since we needed to take a second mortgage out to get the wood for the project. Still not quite convinced that that was the way to go, but, you know, wood price is the way they are. Anyway, that's basically all I've been up to the last couple months. Just busy, a lot of work. Um, I still have a little bit of a backlog of videos, so uh, I'll, I'm still trying to get one, one out every two weeks or so. Um, I have the couple long-term projects coming up. Uh, the camper, um, the in-laws want a uh, kitchen table built or dining room table built. Uh, so that'll be one coming up. Um, I haven't started on that one yet other than getting the uh, wood kind of milled up. They're still deciding on uh, designs and stuff like that. So I'm not sure when that one's happening, but that one will also be one coming up. Anyways, I'm going to call it a video. So, thank you all for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading them in the comment section below. And if you want to stay up to date with what I am doing, you can follow me on Instagram at John the Shriner. I'm usually doing about daily updates over there. So, yeah, I'll be over there if you want uh, more up-to-date stuff. Otherwise, I will see you here in the next video, and have a good one. Yeah, just block out my whole light with my... See ya. Yeah. I'm very tired. I should go to bed. Am I going to go to bed? No, probably not.